Southland is getting hit with another round of powerful and dangerous Santa Ana winds. And CBS 2's Cara Finstrom is live in Silmar, mm -hmm. where it's really windy and we're already seeing damage. Cara. We are. Crews at work already this morning cutting up a massive tree that came down. Uh, we actually have a better view of it now. Take a look. You can see the roots uh, of that tree up near the garage there. And if we pan over, you can see just how large this tree that is that came crashing down. It's one of two on this property. I did speak with the homeowner. He did not want to go on camera, but tells me he was trying to get the city and his insurance company to help take this down because it had really been leaning since last week's Santa Ana wind event. He says he's just grateful nobody was hurt. All right, let's go to some video now of crews really trying to tackle this tree. So the homeowner says uh, the gate, part of the driveway, were damaged, but that his family of three, who was home at the time, all of them got out safely. Folks are still cleaning up, lots of them, from the damage uh, from last week's wind event. Some trees, other trees may have been weakened. So today, warnings of the potential for more downed tree limbs, blowing debris, as well as possibly hazardous driving conditions. Winds were already gusting at up to 35 miles per hour in some spots Thursday. This is expected to continue some of these winds through tomorrow morning. And we spoke with another neighbor here who says he's going to be evacuating his family because there's another tree that is leaning as well. Luckily, like I said, it didn't fall on a house. That was the most terrifying part. We, we couldn't even sleep because we were like, we knew it was going to fall. It was just a matter of time. All right, giving you a closer look again at some of the trees that came down on this property already. Southern California Edison says it will be on alert today as well. Uh, fortunately, they are saying their forecasts are for the winds not to be as strong as during last week's event, which brought down a number of their power lines. But back here live, they're urging anyone who does see a power line down to treat it as live and avoid it. DeMarco, Suzanne. All right.